Hello and welcome to a Model Railroad Academy video. In this video I will try to whetten your appetite for a traffic control system, often referred to as a computer control. Ok, let's draw a really simplified sketch over my view of a digitally controlled model railroad. Here on the lowest level we find the engines, the turnouts and the signals. These devices are more or less just receivers of information, like locomotive 42, increase speed to 36. That engine will then increase the speed but has really no idea of what locomotive number 14 is doing or where it is at. On the next level we find a command station. There are tons of different command stations for DCC. A few examples is Digitrax. Rocco Set 21, Merklin Central Station, Loconet or Lens, just to name a few. This device receives comments from you, meaning your speed control handle, and send that to the receivers, like engines, switches and signals. In most cases it also powers the layout. The next level is the traffic control system which most often is referred to as a computer control. This device uses the information from the command station, meaning direction, status, speed and position of all of the devices to plan the traffic flow on your layout. Let's have a look at what a traffic control system can do for you and your layout. I use it all the time for setting the train routes, meaning it will switch the turnouts to the correct position, set the signals to the aspect valid for this route and it also blocks this route for other trains as long as my train is on that route. With the route selected I can either choose to run my train manually using my speed control handle or automatically and let the computer set the speed according to the speed limits on the route. Another function I use all the time is scheduled traffic. On my layout I typically run the long distance goods and passenger trains by automatic scheduled control. I then at the same time manually control all of the train movements in the yards. That way I can have up to 12 trains running at the same time as I'm doing some shunting service. Very nice. Another very useful function in the traffic control system is the service and maintenance. It can direct the track cleaning train to all parts of the layout, keeping track of what parts been cleaned, when and not. There is also a service interval set for each train, so you know when it's time to clean the wheels. Another nice function is the documentation for each engine. I got this one for instance from my wife as a Christmas gift 2014. It has up till today run 13 hours and 38 minutes. Last time I cleaned the wheels was in October 2018. There are tons of goodies in a software like this, but I will mention just one more here. It's the actions. With actions you can really define any activity you desire on your layout in time and space. Here's a few examples. All locomotives signal with their horn before entering this tunnel or controlling the light functions of this railway crossing or controlling the lights of this station so it gets turned on at 8 o'clock in the evening at the same time as it dims the ambient light in the room. Actions can also play mp3 files directly like train driver radio communication or the bells from a railway crossing. Well, I don't know if I managed to whetten your appetite for this type of, of software. If I did, then it's uh, free of charge to download the software I'm using. It's uh, called Rockrail. You, it's available on rockrail.de. It's an open source type software, so it's uh, free to use, free to install for eternity. Uh, and you can order some goodies. You know some extras by donating to the project. So you know it's a it's a it's a way to get started. And if you're interested in this type of content for the premium section, please drop a note in the comment field, and I will make premium videos um, and expand on this topic uh, further on this winter. And don't forget to level up, gain premium membership here on Model Railroad Academy. See you in there.